This is a Zomo. The making of a Zomo is one of the seven warriors in the whole Edo kingdom. They were born the same day. They only have a sister and uh, they were warriors and uh, they were giants. If you want to know more about them, you can find them in Benin Museum at the state Nigeria. If you go there, you can see the kind of shoes they used to wear during that time, the, the sword and everything they were using, the hamlet and stuff like that. They are too big, you cannot even carry the sword. But they are strong warriors. And that's it, so. It's a part of my way of documenting our history. Our own history, which no work can do for us. We have to do it ourselves. So, I hope you enjoy. So I will be working on it again today. I'll be painting, uh, do this painting for some time now. So I draw as I continue the painting of a summer. Okay, remember some of their names. They are because there are several number. You have a Odia, you have a Zomo, you have a Wari, and a host of them like that. There was a typical war, is what the war they fought to talk about the me. When it's a Wari that fought that war, which talk about the Nadimi. So it was a strong war. Is, is a war, is a war, is a war, is war. So, I'm going to be working on those, uh, those different, the, working on the, each of them. But this is the beginning, which I'm starting with Ezomo. I like the name Ezomo. That's why I decided to start with him. Then after Ezomo, I will go to Odia, Odia Nugume. And uh, then I enter Irwari Nukemezi. Yeah, really no commands is a strong one as well. They were all strong. They have magical powers and uh, they could do things that which ordinary human being cannot do. A joy as a paint. It was the no commands, it was the no commands. We were born away, but the Okido we were so. We were born, we were kiggity. Yeah, that was the song. They were singing where they were fighting that war. It was the Enu Kemezi. It was the Enu Kemezi. We were born away. But the Okido Mobi. We were two. We were born, we were kiggity. What we were saying in that song was during that war, when it really was fighting the Obadinadimi. There was the Sobadimi is one of the small the small toe, the left leg, that's where he has his medicine, his uh, charms, magical powers. On that left leg, the small toe. So Eurade was being remembered that he should not forget to hit that small toe. Because that's how you'll be able to defeat Obadimi. Because if you cough, because with the Minami, we do a lot, all manner of incantation and uh, magical power to make you forget, so you would not remember. So the war was getting too long, and uh, the Nasta sang that song to remember but the Nadi, to remember everybody that there is something in that left toe, the small one, that you need to hit to stop on, so you will be able to defeat up the Minami. So when he was hearing that song, he now brought back his memory to remember that there is something she he need to do. That's when he now hit that small toe, the, the smaller one on the left leg. When he hit it, that was how he was able to defeat 
Agba de Minalimi. So let's tell a lot of strong songs like that. Yeah. Iyagi, Iyagi, me mupu le ye, Okoro awo. Odia, nugu me odia, Odia, nugu me odia. Iyagi, Iyagi, me mupu le ye, Okoro awo. That's the only sister they had. When she went to market to do shopping, the Yagi people take a cloth from her. They stole her cloth. That's when the now starts singing, calling his brother Odia to come and fight for her to retrieve her cloth. That's when they were singing that song. Odia, Nugumi Odia, Odia, Nugumi Odia, Yagi. Iyagi me mupu le yi okoruwa a lot of them like that a lot of war they fought i'm going to be taking you on a journey and i will be explaining each and every one of them so you can know that this is not just a painting that i'm it's not just honorary painting this is a spiritual painting there are more that people need to know the historical Wars are the historical background of our people, our great kingdom.